Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a little vlog today because I'm going to clean some of my Louis Vuitton monogram bags. I'm actually gonna clean three out of the four of them. Um, the Vachetta is pretty dirty on them all and I was talking to a friend of mine recently and she used Apple brand leather cleaner to clean the canvas of her monogram bags and it worked really well. So I'm gonna give that a shot and see how it works on the canvas and the leather. So I'll take you through cleaning the bags and show you some clips as I do that and then I will show you the final result once I am all finished. So let me show you the bags now that I'm gonna be cleaning in this video. Okay, here are the three bags I'm going to be cleaning today. I have my Neverfull MM, my Gallera PM, and my favorite MM. And these are the two products that I'm going to be using. This is the Apple brand leather cleaner, and this is their leather conditioner. I really love Apple brand products. I use them on all my bags. These two actually come in a kit, so you can buy both together. And I also love Bickmore products. Those are the other products that I really trust. I just don't happen to have any Bickmore cleaner right now. But I'll link all of this stuff below. So if you guys um, want to buy some products that I actually trust to not ruin bags, you can look down in the description box and I will uh, put the links there. So let's take a quick look at some of these up close and personal. So this monogram, Never Full MM, has a really dark vachetta on it. Um, it's not particularly stained, which is great. It's just really dark. So I'm just going to do a quick wipe of it. I'm not really trying to get out any specific stains. These straps are also pretty dark, but at this point, I feel like this bag is just so old and well-worn. It's not, there's not going to be that much difference here. I'm really interested to see how much, um, dirt comes off the canvas because when my friend um, cleaned her bags. She was shocked how dirty the canvas actually was. So let me show you now. This guy is probably the one that has like the most stains and stuff. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time scrubbing spots though because I don't want to really harm the leather. So I'm going to try to be a little bit careful about what I'm doing to this bag. So you can see it has a lot of um, staining here on the top trim. Just darkness, general darkness. It has a lot of um, tarnish here from the hardware, which is pretty common on these bags as well. So I'm just gonna do my best. I'm not gonna be stressed out about trying to get every stain off. Um, I'm just gonna try to give it a clean so that I feel confident that it is actually clean when I'm carrying it. And I'm not gonna worry too much about the stains, but I think it'll be interesting to see how much dirt comes off. And then the last one I want to show you here is my favorite MM. And so this one I'm mostly going to be cleaning the canvas. The um, Vachetta strap I have for this is also really, <laughs> really worn. I mean, you can see how flaccid it is just from the use. And then the tab here is starting to break apart. It's still functional though, so I still do use this strap. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give this a wipe down just to remove any dirt. I'm not really trying to remove any stains or anything like that. All right, let's get started. Let's start on this guy because I feel like it's gonna be the biggest project. So I'll show you a little bit of how you do this. I have other videos on my channel about cleaning. So this is just the leather cleaner. I'm gonna put a tiny amount here on my rag. I use microfiber cloths to clean all my bags. And then you just want to, I actually think I'm gonna undo this buckle so I can get all of this. You want to take, you see that tarnish mark here, you just want to rub this all over and really clean the leather. And you will see it darken, especially with untreated vachetta like this, you're going to see the leather darken. Don't worry, this is not permanent darkening. This is just because the weather is, the leather is getting a little bit wet with the product. So you can see that how, how that has darkened a little bit compared to this. Once this dries, it will go completely back to the normal color, which is exactly why I use this product. I have used it on all types of sensitive leather and I've never, ever, ever had a problem with it. So look already, you see what's coming off here is the actual dirt from the leather and the tarnish marks from the actual hardware, which is great. So there's that done. You can still see that mark there. Like I said, it's not gonna remove all of the imperfections, but it is going to take off dirt. 
So you might not see the results here, but you will see the results here. So I'm gonna continue working on the leather of this bag and then I will come back and show you guys what it looks like when I actually wipe the canvas. Okay, I've wiped most of the leather of this bag and you can see how much dirt has come off from doing that, it's crazy. So let's wipe the canvas and see what happens here and how much dirt we can get off with this um, cleaning product. So I'm just gonna start at, my, at the bottom and kind of work in big strokes. I didn't put much product on the cloth. I'm just trying to spread it thinly all over the bag and give it a nice wipe down so that I know it is clean. Actually, not that dirty. All right, I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll come back um, and show you some of the other bags I'm gonna be cleaning today. All right, I just finished with the leather on this bag and here is what I got off. It was, I would think, I think pretty successful in removing the dirt off of the leather, although it still doesn't look perfect, as I said, at least I know it's clean. So let's put a little cleaner here and see how dirty the canvas is. So not too dirty. Really, most of the dirt was in the leather. So let me get started on my favorite MM and I will come back and show you that. Just finished up with my favorite MM. Here's all of the nasty dirt that came off that thing. And most of it was from the really well-worn strap. So I'm gonna set it aside here to dry. And I believe my Gallera PM is finally dry. And just looking at it offhand, I really feel like the cleaner did help. I mean, it's very slight, but I feel like the darkening here is definitely lighter than it was before. I feel like this particular area looks cleaner, and I just feel like the top trim in general looks cleaner than it did before. So I'm actually pretty happy with how that turned out. What I wanna do now is put some moisture back into the leather, and this is really an important step that you don't wanna skip because Caring for your leather and making sure that it is properly moistened is an important part of making sure that it has longevity, that it lasts for a really long time, and that it looks good and is healthy. So always condition after you clean, um, and then you have to let that dry com completely, and then usually I just go over it with a dry microfiber cloth so that I can make sure if there's any residue or anything like that that I get it off. The um, products that I link in the description box below will not hurt your bag, trust me. The one thing that you wanna be careful of is with the cleaner, don't rub in any one area really concentratedly. Like you want, you want to keep it, keep it moving. You don't really wanna scrub any one certain area because you can remove dye if you have dyed leather. Um, so you just want to keep that in mind using the cleaner, but honestly, you will never hurt your bag using either of the conditioners that I link below. You can put as much as you want on, you're not going to hurt it. So just trust me, you've got to do this to your bags at least once or twice a year to help them to stay healthy and really last, really last you for a long time. Okay, I'm gonna go through and condition all of these bags and then I will be back to show you the final results. That's the end of this video. Everything is all dried off and I think it does look slightly better. You can still tell this is pretty dark. I might do another coat of conditioner on these straps because you can see how badly dry they are and really peeling. But I think especially on this bag, it really made a difference on some of the tarnished spots and on the top trim. I think it really looks better than it did before I started cleaning. Um, like I said, not perfect, but better. And then this pore strap definitely looks better and it definitely looks more moist and supple. So I think it helped um, even though, like I said, not perfect. What I will say is another additional step you can do if you are worried about your Vachetta staining is to use a spray like this, which is a water and stain repellent. This one is by Bickmore. I really like it because it's a non-aerosol. Um, so that way you can use it indoors. It doesn't smell um, and you don't have to wait for a long time for the smell to leave your bag so you can use it. 
Um, I will say it's not always available. If I can find it on Amazon right now and it's available, I'll link it below. If not, I will link some of the aerosol ones that I like. Just be aware that you would need to use them outside so that um, the fumes don't get to you because they are pretty powerful. All right, thank you so much for watching today, guys. If you have any tips or tricks you'd like to share about cleaning your Louis Vuitton bags, please leave them below. And as always, I hope you'll join me for my future videos. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.